Roslyn's Kitchen. Tonight we are going to have pork mini meatloafs with rosé sauce. I think that's how I pronounce it. And roasted broccoli and red bell peppers. Now, because broccoli is generally a little too hard for my dad, I've got a pan of water here boiling. And I'm going to add this and just boil them a little bit to break down a little bit of their tenticity. And while that's going on, I'm going to make my pork. So, I'll be right back. However, I should probably tell you all what all I have. Okay, I have pan. It's a one pan meal. Love it. Uh, the red bell peppers. The seasoning. Ranch. Dill seasoning. The rosy sauce, the crackers, the garlic salt seasoning, the ground pork, and two butters. So, let me get back to what I was doing before, okay? So, off we go. I'm actually going to be doing this a little backwards because I should be putting my veggies and everything in my pan, but I'm giving my broccoli a chance to cook. So we're going to first, okay, first I need to crush my, whoa, hello, saltines. And then I will thoroughly com combine my crushed saltines with my pork and my seasoning or my garlic salt. Now the reason I'm putting those in first is because once you put the meat in then it's sometimes a little hard to combine things. At least that's been my observation. Other people may do it differently. It's no big. Alright, so smoosh, smoosh. Smush, smush. There's something very calming about smushing meatloaf. You know, like dough or just about any type. It's just very relaxing. Because you're like smush, 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 smush. Feel like a cat, you know? Smush, 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 smush. Alright, now I have these guys. Now, let me form it into a ball and separate my ball in half. A mini loaf. about padding me too, so you know. Alright, there we go, and I will be right back. Alright, so there's my broccoli. I don't know if you can tell, but it's steaming, because I just took it out of the oven. And, uh, I'm not going to do this by hand, because I don't really want to burn myself on the broccoli, you know what I'm saying? and a tablespoon of olive oil. And a fourth of a teaspoon of salt. That's a half. Oh, that's an eighth, so I just need two of these guys. So now, 
I push this off to the side. Swish, swish. And I take my little mini meat loaves. And I put them in there. And now I put the rosy sauce on it. I'm not quite sure what a rosy sauce is, but you know, you gotta try new things. Seriously. Life is too short not to try new things. Of course, when I was younger, I did not believe this. I thought, I only want what I'm used to. Now I see the value of new things. So, now I'm going to stick it in the oven for about 25 minutes, and then I will be back. All right, now that my... Uh, meat has cooked. Now I'm going to stir this up. My, my loaves are resting for a few minutes. Add the butter. And my butter. Stir that in and let it melt. And now, I just gotta wait for the meat to rest. Alright, so, here's what it looks like. Here's what it's supposed to look like. Now let's see if it tastes like. All right, the word on this one was very good. Even the vegetables were pretty good. So, um, not sure when I'll get to the third one, maybe Thursday night. But till then, remember, all lives matter. Peace out.